I just can't decide. I keep coming back to this bad boy. I don't know. I just don't know. What is a guy to do? Decisions, decisions. The spirit of will run What is up, everybody? Kyle here, back at it again. And today, my hotel is right down the street from an antique mall. And I said, you know what? I'm going to kill some time. I'm going to poke around this mall. I'm going to see what I can find. We'll see what Nebraska antique malls can do for us. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can find something. Wish me luck on the antique hunt. All right, it's the old brass armadillo. See what all the fuss is about here today. Never been to this location. See what's going on in Nebraska. Oh, we got old Chuck Long, my old buddy. I had a class with Chuck Long one time. That's a long story. That's a story for another day. What do we got? We got anything going on? Oh, we got baseball cards. Oh, we got the Paul Molitor rookie. $7.50. I remember that was like a $40 card back in the day. My oh my, how things change. Hmm, what do we got? What do we got? Nothing. Always interesting to see. Maybe I'll get a case here. There we go. Oh, look at that. The old kitty rider up there. Huh. Just don't see those anymore. When I was a little kid, my dad had one of those on his bicycle, and I used to ride on it. Just imagine the fun I had. Just imagine. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, it's comic books. A little this, a little that. Oh, North Troll trading cards. That's what the people want. Oh, corn huskers. We're in Husker country. A lot of cards here. Not a lot of action figures yet. Will we have any action figures here? Will we have anything good? Oh, we got a Mary Poppins hat. That's good. That's as good as it gets. What else? John Paul George and Ringo. Some may call them the Fab Four. Oh, some starters. There it is. There's old Ram Man. I need to get a vintage Ram Man. I'm going to put that on my list, my to do list. And a little of that. A little of this. Oh, there's old Baxter Stockman. Looking for the new version at Walmart right now. There's a blast from the past. When I was a kid, my grandma had a ton of this stuff. Fisher Price Zoo. My uncle had these when he was a kid, so of course they were at my grandma's and I would play with them when I was really little. I had a lot of fun with that zoo place at back in the day. 100 bucks. Huh. Many hours of playtime for little Kyle with that thing. Wild. Yeah, so far not so good here. A lot of this kind of stuff. Nothing I'm on the hunt for. At least yet. At least yet. I always loved that issue of Wolverine there. I thought he looked cool with that haircut back in the day. Oh, now there's some fashion. I think I'd look good in one of those. You never know. You never know. They gotta have a needle in the haystack here somewhere, don't they? Don't they? Uh, maybe not. Ah, the world's most glamorous teenager. Brooke Shields. Maybe I should get that for my daughter. She would love it. She said, who's Brooke Shields? Hopefully I come across some taxidermy. It's always part of the fun of these antique malls. Finding some crazy bison heads, armadillos, things like that. Uh, no. Really striking out here. Well, there's the first wrestling I see. 31,000 dollars. What are we doing? I don't know what it's even repacked. Perfect. Cesaro, Neville. Man, I don't know what they're trying to pull there. 
trying to pull one of them fast ones. Oh, watch out. They're going to pull a fast one. Hmm. No. No. Well, is this a belt where you put your bullets in? Look at that. Wow, wow, West stuff. Oh, taxidermy corner. Unbelievable. I knew I'd find one somewhere. Is that a mandible? <laughs> wow. Hmm. We got the uh, jackrabbit up there. Until last week when I was in Sioux Falls, I thought the jackrabbits were extinct and I saw one and I thought I saw something special, like Bigfoot. I was wrong, they're not extinct. Look at that ram skull. Cause I'm gonna sacrifice something at an altar with that thing. <laughs> well, there's an old friend from the 80s, old Ted Ruxpin. What a good time guy he was. What was that worm friend of his? He had that worm friend, Grubby or something. He was creepy. I had Grubby and he was creepy. I can verify it. What do we got? A lot of cars going on. Tools. Hmm. Oh, there's the Hulkster in his thermos. $30. I've seen Hogan's thermos, I believe. Once upon a time. See these? Yeah, that's about it for this aisle. Saw the taxidermy. Time to go. Well, they are playing Waylon Jennings over the intercom, so I'm okay with that. Where's Barbie? Oh, here's some sports stuff. Stephen Curry, Drew Brees. One of these days, I got quite the Drew Brees story about an employee that lost his mind and thought him and Drew Brees were meant to be a team, a team in life. What do we got in here? Ooh, look at this. 15 bucks, this is like super small. That's got me all over it. I could wear this like a San Diego Padre game. Because I go to so many of those. Huh. Oh, some Bob Dylan, Hurricane. On this album, one of Bob's best songs. Huh. Nashville Skyline, give me some of that country pie. How about that one? It's a good one. Hmm. Oh, put me in coach. Starting lineup time. Where's my dad? My dad was all about the hockey. All about the hockey lineups. Is that a Messier? Nope. Brian Leach. Eight bucks each. Those were the days. Those were the days. Oh, we got cars for days. What do we have? So far, not a whole lot. Well, Batman down there. Old school. Those were the days. Those were the days. Oh, it looks like somebody just made the list over here. $40 for Robin. What are we doing? What are we doing? A lot more baseball cards and cards of this one than the one by my house. No, no, all oh, trolls. Oh, look, there's second in command of G.I. Joe behind Flint, Duke. What's Duke doing here? Of course, they don't have Flint. Everybody buys their Flint. Nobody sells Flints. And DVDs. Oh, there's my old friend, Mr. Peanut. Some great times working with Mr. Peanut back in the day. Hmm. Well, nothing over here. Look at this, you can get the whole case for $120, loaded with rookies and stars. Okay. Ah, oh, Lassie and the big cleanup day. All timer. Oh, it's the triple T, we got two of them. Missing Sarge, missing the pieces. Oh, there's a little cobra missing some stuff. The old cobra rat. 
Bachlands. Oh, look at that. George St. Pierre, only five bucks. It's probably a good deal, actually. Very underrated figures. All oh, the monkeys, very underrated as well. What do we got here? Some Muppets. Huh. Snow cat down there. Alien figures. Superman. Ghostface. I'll be. A few things over here. Oh, we got Conan the Barbarian over here. What do we want on Conan? 20 bucks. Is that a good deal? Will this crumple the dust out of the package? Kind of looks like it might. Kind of looks like it might. 35. Definitely Mary. How about Cadillacs and dinosaurs? Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. Finn. Krennic. Princess Leia. Looking very strange. Holy haul of justice. How did I miss that up there? $150? Is that just for the box? I might have to investigate that one. Man, I loved that Hall of Justice when I was a kid. Wow, that's pretty wild. It is unopened. The box has seen better days, but 150 bucks for a complete Hall of Justice? Man, that's tempting. That is tempting. That's wild. Oh, now we're talking. Taxidermy corner right here. Where's this guy? Looks like something Lemmy squared off with a couple weeks ago. You saw that video. If you're really antique mall, if you don't have taxidermy stuff running around. Now we're talking. How do I get this weasel home? Red fox head. I feel like I need some taxidermy behind me when I'm doing videos instead of those figures. Really class up to play. It's going to be ram's head, moose head or something. I think people would love it. Or the animal rights activists would come after me. Oh, this warthog. There we go. I've never hunted in my life either. Wild. What is that, like a hornet's nest? Rams. Wild time, starfish. What a taxidermy time to be alive. All right, that ET bank is creepy. Some nightmare fuel. How about those old glasses you used to get like Burger King and stuff like that? Those were the days. Oh, the days. Well, I've walked the whole place. Didn't find anything I needed, but I keep coming back to the Hall of Justice. Unopened. I just don't know. Obviously, the box is in rough shape, but it's still unopened. Ooh, decisions. All right, well, there it is. A little look at the old brass armadillo in Omaha, Nebraska. What a time to be alive. Beautiful this time of year, as you guys can see. There's no rain, there's no snow, there's no sleet. It's looking good, but not a lot of stuff I needed in there. Not a whole lot of anything until I got to that one case. And talk about the angel on the shoulder, devil on the other shoulder. And you guys know I was really eyeing that Hall of Justice. Couldn't make my mind up. Well, you know what I did. I pulled the trigger. Hall of Justice coming home. It's 1984 all over again. Little Kyle is excited for Christmas Day. I've been wanting the Hall of Justice for a long time. If you guys have been watching my Kane County uh, videos the last couple years, I always usually mention that, oh, I need that Hall of Justice. Oh, I want that Hall of Justice back. Well, the time was now. Unfortunately, I got it down there. I talked to the owner, person, shopkeeper, booth owner, whatever you want to call it. And unfortunately, this had been opened before. I thought it was brand new unopened, but it was uh, open. So I said, okay, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to pay that much. So there was some haggling back and forth. And I said, I need to see what's in there. If it's been open. I want to know if it's complete. I want to know what's going on. And very thankful, this bad boy is complete inside. So I'm very happy to get a complete, pristine, nice looking one of these for my collection. Now it makes me feel like I need to get those McFarlane superpower figures to put in here on a clearance deal because I think I have Batman and Green Lantern somewhere in my collection from my childhood. But I feel like I need some more characters to fill this out. And I'm not going down that superpowers. That'd be too expensive. Eh, you never know. Eh, you never know. But very happy to get this back in my collection. Maybe we'll do an unboxing of this, telling some stories of this. Maybe I'll bring my dad by because my dad, of course, got this for me when I was a little kid. Uh, one of the cornerstones of my playing days 
Really enjoyed this one. Maybe my dad will have some fun stories about the old Hall of Justice. We'll see what happens. But quite the day at the Brass Armadillo. Didn't find anything, but I just couldn't pass this up. The box isn't the best, but it's still the box at the end of the day. So there it is. A trip to the Brass Armadillo.